The way you structure your email will affect your response rate. If you don't structure your email campaigns properly, your subscribers will quickly lose interest, and you will lose a lot of subscribers as a result. So, structuring your email should be a very important part of your list-building strategy. How should you structure your email? It's pretty simple. A good email structure consists of an introduction, main content, and conclusion, with some call-to-actions being inserted in appropriate places. Here are the keys to a successful promotional email. It should establish a good relationship with your audience. It should offer more valuable information than simply a sales pitch. It should be a quick read, not requiring a lot of time to read. It should flow naturally, making it enjoyable to read. It should persuade your audience to take action, not forcing them. Now let's get into the details of your email structure. The introduction of your email is your only chance to build a good impression with your audience. This is the part where you say hi to your audience, just like when you meet a good friend. This is where you can build an emotional relationship with your audience. Here are the things you should write in your email intro. Addressing your recipient's name, relating your personal story with your audience, giving your audience a hint about the main content of your email. The main content. This is the meat of your content. This is the value that you will give your audience in your email. Everything else is just a filler. This is the reason your audience wants to read your email, so you have to make it great. You have to make it awesome. Here are the things you should write in your main content. Shocking and awesome content that will keep your audience glued to your email. Relevant content with your product promotion. Building your audience's interest toward your product. Conclusion or closing is the part where you say goodbye to your audience. The conclusion or closing statement is the bridge between your email and your main offer. So you can use this part to reinforce the main message that you have given to your audience, as well as to encourage them to take action. Here are the things you should write here. The gist about the main content. Information about your promoted product. Encouragement to check your link. The best place for your call to action is under the conclusion or closing statement of your email. But what you have to understand about the call to action is that it needs to be placed on the parts of your email where it is appropriate. It shouldn't disturb the flow of your email, but rather it should support it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.